Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Kevin Drake. This is Eric Cole. How you doing? Eric Cole, and today we're going over some techniques and what we would do in a realistic uh, street fight with a knife here. So, uh, you want to tell them what you're about to share with me? Yeah, well, uh, take this. Well, uh, in an instance of someone coming at you, stabbing you with a knife, uh, their main thought would be to kill. It, the intent would be, wouldn't be to protect yourself because their main thought is to kill you, take what you have, and run, or whatever the case may be. So I'll, I'll give you an, exi an example of what some of the things that the trainer has taught me, and he'll give you examples of some of the things that he would like to show you also. So, charge me with the knife. I protect myself. I'm against the wall. I have nowhere to run. I protect myself with here. This is open. So once I grab this and I got his attention, that's one of my defenses. Now Kevin's going to show you some more. That's just something I was sharing with Kevin at the time. Another technique that you could use. Maybe the person stabs you once or twice, but you end up getting the, the wrist. Okay, so hold the wrist. I'm thinking about the knife now. This person is going to get in control of the knife. And since I'm trying to kill him, and I have the knife, as soon as he gets that knife, now the, now the tables are turned. He's going to try and kill me. So another thing he could do from here is headbutt. Right there. Boom. Headbutt. Okay. Then you're going to turn to the outside. Turn to the outside. And you're going to be in this position. Okay. So now the person's going to be here. I have free range to punch him like this. He might eat a couple punches, but he's not getting stabbed. So um, what I gave advice for him is to eat it with his forehead. So as soon as he throws a punch, just bring his head down. So that way I'm punching the hardest part of his head, and he's getting hit on the spot where he has most protection on his head. So I'm going to be throwing punches. Bring your head down to, to eat it. Boom. Boom. Then elbow or try to get the knife out? What would you do realistically in this situation? From here. You're fighting right here. Boom. There you go. And I'm taking the knife out. There you go. I'm stuck with a broke horn. Now, the reason why, why we're doing this is because in a realistic knife fight, someone's not just going to go like this and just stab you one time. In real life, someone's going to go like this. It's going to be explosive, it's going to be fast, and it's going to be powerful. So, what we do is we put our hand down for a lower attack. Okay? So, here. Okay? Now, uh, upper. Okay? Okay? Now, the same thing do to me. You see? I first aim for his wrist here. He might be strong enough to get me just like that. Or if the knife is long enough, he might be able to get me just like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab here and stretch out here. Once I'm here, then I'm going to work my way to the outside and grab onto his, his wrist here. Control this side. Once I control this side, I could foot stomp. See? Foot stomp here. I could, I could try to kick here. Or I could do takedowns from here. I could take him down from going like that. If he gets low enough, I put him here. Boom. Knee. Watch out for the punches on that side. So you throw a punch. One. See? Two. But it's it's hard for me to reach him now. Yeah. It, he's not going to get a full power punch because I'm towards the outside. But he'll land. Once I get here, start fighting the knife. Get the knife out, at all costs. Get the knife out. At that point, you have a chance to run away, depending on the situation. If it's just three guys, we could possibly all three run away after that situation. You have to be humble enough, now that you got this knowledge, to say, hey, if my family's around, this guy just pulled out a knife on me, and I got kids here, I got my mom here, I got my grandma here, I'm going to have no choice but to attack him back. But if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, you just got the knife, this guy is now afraid of you. You got to run away and be humble to say, I'm not going to kill this person even though he tried to kill me. Run away. If he, if he, if he runs after you, then you could stab him. That's his own fault for chasing you.
But if you have the opportunity to run away, go for it. If you don't have the opportunity and he might take the knife away and it's a close battle and you have no choice but to stab him, stab him. You have to make the decision on your own. And the decision has to be something that you know is going to be good for your own life. And you you got to understand, taking a life is a big deal. You don't want to get um, into all that. You'd rather just run away with your life and you're free after that situation. You never know You never know the situation, how the situation's going to go. Uh, a lot of us out there, we, we've encountered some very dangerous situations where we've been with some of the closest people in our family or even by ourselves. And, and a lot of times when your adrenaline is pumping, you really don't know what to do. You really don't think of what to do that quick. Let's, so most of us are not in everyday fights. So for those that are not really in everyday fights, you have to make the wise decision. You have to make the right decision. So what Kevin Drake and I are, are implementing and shedding and showing you as an example of what you might want to do in that certain situation. You never know what the other person is thinking. Remember... As long as you're defending yourself, you're not wrong. So don't become the threat. Defend the threat so it can be self-defense just in case someone like the cops get called. And you had to stab this guy. And you had to and you had to hurt this guy. Whatever the case may be, you don't look like the threat. So this is why Kevin Drake made this video for you guys out there in YouTube land to show you that there's a way to protect yourself regardless of how big or how crazy the guy is. All you have to do is think at all times when you're being attacked. And that's it guys. You guys have a great day.